in butterfly, we want to make sure that we're using our hips. They really help with undulation, rhythm, and timing. So they are a critical element. So the first style is face down, hands down by your side, and simply float on the water and press your chest into the water. There's a very subtle involuntary dolphin kick that takes place. The subtlety here though is you have to be careful not to throw so hard that you're throwing down on the front end of your stroke. Don't drive your head and hands down. Take all of your energy forward. The second area that we want to concentrate our hips on is popping them to the sky at the end of our stroke, at the, at the recovery. Misty Hyman calls this flying our butt and it's a great phrase. It really makes you think about it. You are now hands extended out front in a Superman position and body dolphining through the water with trying to keep your hands as stable as possible, not letting them hula, not letting them skull. Fingertips are always pointing to the far end of the pool. Another favorite drill for firing your hips and butterfly is what I refer to as the Mary T. Maher drill. And this involves the swimmer lying out on the water, arms extended in a Superman position, executing one underwater stroke of fly and finishing the stroke. When I do this drill, I want to be face down and I want to think about pulling my hips to my hands, sliding my chin on the surface, throwing my hands, and then simply recovering underwater, re-establishing my balance and doing the drill again. In butterfly, we want to see some hip action in our stroke. It's a subtle movement, but it really helps with rhythm and timing. There's a subtlety there. You have to be careful about not throwing the front end of your body down to get those hips up. Always take your energy forward and fly.